John Fedro with mobilehomeinvesting.net. In this video, we're going to talk about the big question, is now the end of 2021, uh, the beginning of 2022, a good time to invest in mobile homes? We're going to talk about fears, what we're really seeing in the market, and if now is the right time. In this video, stay tuned. It's the end of 2021, almost 2022. It is the future. And uh, I get the question a lot, or some, not a lot, but some, uh, is this now a good time to invest uh, in mobile homes? And usually that's coming from three big fears, whether these are uh, valid or not valid, uh, they're stopping you from moving forward. Let's talk about those. Uh, cold weather or the holiday slowdown. Hey, it's getting cold. Uh, some areas a lot colder than others. The holidays are coming up. Uh, COVID and eviction issues. Uh, COVID is still happening. Eviction issues can still be a problem. Those are real. And market, uh, the market being too expensive or is there a bubble coming? Uh, and what to be what to be done with that. Uh, now, the biggest risks, you're unable to sell mobile homes when you're trying to resell them. You're going to be stuck with something. Uh, you're going to go do something wrong and you're going to go to jail or you're going to lose money. Some other type of major unforeseen mistake. Um, or just you don't start a business. Another year goes by uh, without starting something. Sitting on the sidelines is just as much uh, of a problem or of, of a risk. Yeah, I mean, if you don't do anything, then that is like guaranteed to happen uh, because time will keep going by and someone is going to help these mobile home sellers that need help. By the way, what I'm talking about, you know, in right time to invest, I'm talking about all these types of different mobile home uh, deals that you see on your screen from buy, fix and sell, cash or payments, all the way down to RVs and more. Uh, but anyway, let's continue and talk about each one of these main fears and then what we've been seeing actually in the market. Cold weather uh, and the holidays are coming. What does that mean? Well, here's what we've been seeing. And I mentioned this before in a previous video that for my first 17 years investing in mobile homes, things were pretty regular. As the seasons changed, different things happened. When school started, uh, things slowed down 30, 40%. And then when Christmas time happened, uh, New Year's, Thanksgiving week, things came to a crawl. And then January, February, March, things kind of ramped up in speed again. And in 2020, 2020 last year, uh, that did not happen. Uh, their slowdown was not nearly as pronounced. Uh, the housing market was still on a tear going up. Uh, perhaps COVID had something to do with this. But yeah, even with COVID, the housing market and mobile homes, we did not see that slowdown when school started. And maybe because school kind of was paused or people were, were obviously at home. And then um, the weeks of Christmas, Thanksgiving, that did not come to a crawl. So it, I will say in areas with thicker snow on the ground, yeah, it's tougher for people to uh, move around. It's tougher for people uh, to get evicted uh, when there's really thick snow on the ground or there's ice on the ground. People don't want to sell if they don't have to. But there's definitely still sellers that aren't there. They don't want to pay an extra bill or they haven't been paying or they are gonna be being evicted. There's still sellers in need of help. There's still parks that want their money and parks that need help. There's still movers, there's still buyers uh, that are looking for good deals. Prices are continuing to rise with mobile homes. Uh, I made a video about do mobile homes appreciate or depreciate? And the answer is yes, they do both. Uh, what the market dictates, what somebody will pay for a mobile home. These houses in a certain area are increasing Meaning if you want to live in this area, you are you, you have to either pay the high house prices or you move into a mobile home. Somebody, you know, something that a lot of people haven't done is a, a lot of new mobile home owners now are people that have never lived in a mobile home. Uh, and now people that with cash are, are buying mobile homes. And so let's move on here in bullet points. Uh, prices are continuing to rise. Purchase with two or three months holding time in mind. It is the cold weather times. If it does take you extra time to sell, Purchase with an extra two or three months. We aim to sell in 30 days or less uh, when a home is on the market, but extra aim for an extra two or three months of holding time built into your purchase offers. So you, again, you want to know how much you're going to be remake, uh, making when you're selling the home. Build in two or three months uh, expectation that it's going to take you an extra 60 days or 90 days to sell, which is a long time if it takes you that long. But if it takes you that long, so be it. I'd rather you have an empty home than a risky person inside if you're selling on payments or, uh, yeah. So moving on, always, it's always a good time to purchase profitable mobile homes. 
Um, yeah, that's kind of silly, but it's true. It's always a good time to purchase profitable deals. There's a lot of moving parts when it comes to mobile homes in parks, on land, etc. And uh, it's always a good time to purchase prof profitable deals. COVID issues, uh, those are real. Uh, what we're seeing in the market for COVID issues, if that's a reason that's sort of making you sit on the sidelines. Uh, in most states, evictions, oh no, first one, I'm sorry. In some states, evictions are still not back up to where they were. It's still not that easy to evict somebody. Uh, New Jersey, New York, California, uh, but towards the end of this year and the beginning of next year, uh, like most states, evictions will be coming back to normal. And in most states, they are. Evictions are back to normal. If you don't pay, you can't stay. Uh, aim to avoid court in general. This YouTube channel is not a uh, proponent of going to court. Always aim to avoid court by uh, thoroughly screening your tenant buyers. If you're selling on payments, if you're renting, thoroughly, thoroughly, thoroughly screen your tenant buyers. The park should screen them, you should screen them, uh, you should screen them multiple ways. Uh, take a larger down payments as well. If you're selling on payments, you can get a larger down payment to help you avoid uh, problematic folks. Uh, and working with tenant buyers if they're late. Bad things happen to good people and if someone can't pay the full month payment, you can work with people. That's part of our jobs kind of, as investors, we're here to help people, here to work with people, good, hardworking people, not people that avoid your phone calls, people that avoid you knocking on their door, people that don't talk to you. We're looking for you know tenant buyers that are humble, sincere, respectful. If they can't pay, they, they're embarrassed, they alert you, of course. Um, selling for all cash, which you've already read. Yeah, if you sell for all cash or wholesale the home or sell with consignment, you uh, don't have to worry about any kind of evictions because you take all your money and then you move on to the next deal, which you should be doing a combination of these, selling some for cash, wholesaling, consigning some, keeping one or two for payments a lot along the way. Sellers, like I said before, sellers still need to sell. Uh, sellers still need help. People are still getting into trouble. Uh, the folks we help may not have the most savings and uh, when people need help, they need help quickly. Uh, there are many buyers and again, Repeating myself from the last slide, it's always a good time to purchase profitable deals. The text is getting smaller. I think there's more to talk about on this one. Uh, the last one is that the market's getting too expensive, which uh, could mean a few different things. The market's getting too expensive. Let's talk about what we're seeing in the market. Home prices are definitely rising in many areas. In some areas, they are not rising or they're going down. Or in the same area, you can have one park where there's a big, long buyer's list and then in another park very nearby, homes are just sort of sitting there or home prices are going down. That happens in senior parks. That happens as well as in family parks. But in most areas, if you pay more for a mobile home, you're reselling it for more as well. It's a higher resale value. Um, build into your purchase cost that materials are extra now, labor is going to be a bit extra, at least for the moment. So build that in. Know that it's going to take an extra 20% on material, an extra 40% on labor to go ahead and get things done. Um, yeah, so that you're not surprised by getting the repair you know, estimate later on. Um, so build that into your purchase price so you know. Again, you should be know what you're selling these for, whether you're selling for cash, payments, or something else. Uh, you should know your realistic exit strategy. Uh, the competition is mainly from end users, not so much from other mobile home investors. There's definitely other investors out there, uh, but the competition is mainly from end users. Like I was saying previously, a lot of people that have never even lived in a mobile home, they now have cash from selling something else, from moving somewhere else. They want to be in a certain area and they're priced out of single family homes. So they move over to uh, mobile homes. Um, we must reach sellers. I, I don't like the word must. Uh, we should, it's ideal, to reach many of the sellers out there prior to them advertising, prior to them actually uh, putting their property uh, online uh, for others to see. We want to reach sellers before that moment, kind of homeowners once they turn into sellers, uh, which is a combination of marketing, marketing, and marketing. <laughs> Uh, online and offline, of course, etc. Uh, when uh, when the correction does happen, when a bubble happens, when the correction uh, in the market shifts, I do think mobile homes are going to be hit. 
uh, in many of us that were around in 2008, 2009, um, uh, know that you, it's important to have kind of a plan B. So if you are holding on to properties, you have a lot of money invested into a property, a mobile home, you're planning on flipping that for cash, you're expecting that the market is going up, it's continuing to go up, why would it go down? And then the market does come down and there's a lot less buyers. That's one of the slides earlier in the beginning when you know if the fear was, uh, or the risk was getting stuck with a mobile home. Well, if you're backed into a wall and you have to sell for cash, yeah, you have to sell for cash. But if you're able to, to turn your exit strategy and you're able to resell for payments, you can likely sell for a higher price uh, and still sell no matter kind of how of deep of a, of a bubble that there is. So if you're able to have a plan B strategy of selling on payments, um, that's very helpful um, if you're if you have a lot of money into a deal. So um, anyway, that wanted to make hope that made sense. I wanted to mention that. Always a good time if you haven't heard already uh, to purchase a profitable deal. Um, if it's a profitable deal, there's a lot of moving pieces. There's a lot of reasons why you would not want to purchase a mobile home and why you wouldn't want to purchase a mobile home. I hope that this helps. It's the end of this video. Until the next update related video, continue investing, helping others, learning, growing, uh, taking specific daily action. Every single day, there's something to do. And if you have questions, you should uh, email them to support at mobilehomeinvesting.net or you can get some free videos, podcasts, going to mobilehomeinvesting.net. If you want to train and partner with me, check out mobilehomeformula.com. Thanks so much for watching. Uh, if this video was helpful, please like uh, and subscribe and share this video. Uh, I'll talk to you soon.